page, our start page, a lot of introductory information and videos and explanations. First, highlighting just a few free features that we offer. One is the uh, self-guided assessment, which I just clicked on to begin. It's a way that we hope that by giving some information about the nature of pain and recovery, people are being informed and starting to help narrow down and understand what they might be dealing with. So, you know, to save the cost of going into a physical therapist or a doctor, I've been into injuries and spent so much time or wasted so much time and resources really getting nowhere because trying to figure out what's wrong. And I really admire physical therapists because generally they, I think, look at the mechanics and for a lot of other reasons have been more productive, especially for me as a runner. We uh, offer a free self-assessment as a starting place. And this has a lot of room for growing and expanding the different kinds of injuries we're assessing. But through Eric and my dialogue as a coach and a PT, honing in on the most common things we've seen. He and I both, I think, have the same conversation with athletes or clients a lot. And so trying to kind of streamline some of that to be able to cover the basics, at least as a starting point to help people clearly learn and understand, but also start being proactive on their own before even having to meet with someone, if that's even necessary. We offer a basic assessment. Someone can click on one that seems applicable. We give information on injuries and mechanics, anatomy, to try to start educating in a clear kind of linear manner. Um, So for now, we have just one for a foot, but the biggest one that Eric sees a lot of is knee. So we have a couple of different things we highlight there runner's knee, patellar tendonitis, et cetera. And so someone says, that sounds very similar. That sounds very much like what I'm going through. They can say, okay, well, I'm going to learn more and click on what are the causes. And we just break it down. Trying to, again, educate is a big emphasis of what we're trying to do is educating people first, be aware of what might be causing the problem, which there are a myriad of things. So common trends, and we're just giving information in a kind of linear, concise, outlined way with videos, tests, to do visualizations to try to help hone in. All throughout though, there are ways to contact us directly, to have that one-on-one contact immediately accessible because sometimes it's just overwhelming or that just feels more comfortable for someone. So there's that option along the way, but if they're feeling good, then click on begin rehabilitation. This is where we have a, what we call like a member gateway. I'll return to that in a moment. So that's as far as someone would get basically to this point, with a number of different injuries for free, the free assessment process. A couple other things we offer besides, for one, you know, workshops. Uh, this is our introduction. In two weeks, we have a workshop on knee pain. That's open to anyone. But also the third thing for now is just kind of going through some principles of running. There's different ways to get to that. But if you went down here, for example, there's a link to where I've broken down some basics about mechanics, um, things they can do to try to reinforce and strengthen mechanics. So it's very preventative, injury oriented, but also general form improvement and performance enhancement potential. I use this with athletes. I do it myself all the time. So there's some information there on the principles of running. So that's all freely accessible on the site by anyone. Besides the uh, rehab and conditioning aspect of the membership, the other things we offer three services, which are more like one-on-one where someone's not interacting with a website per se, but interacting with a human being, whether it's Eric, myself, or both of us. So three main things, again, someone could supplement these after trying the self-guided or just go directly to this. They can do one-on-one PT virtually with Eric, who can do all of his assessment and create a specific recovery program for that person. He and I both can partner together, work with someone to do a basic form analysis. A lot of things can be prevented by starting to observe some basic patterns. He and I both have seen as a coach and a PT. So we have that. And the third thing is training design, discussing what their goals are and designing a plan based on that, whether it's for race or general lifestyle. So finally, as if you recall, when we got to what I said was the member barrier, which is the rehab and conditioning side, it would prompt people and say that this is only open to members. That's just a way so we can start building and sustaining ourselves as a business. So being a member, there's an option for individuals, but also groups. So like a running club. But what that does is in addition to everything we talked about, the free stuff, it's just giving them access to the archive of rehab and conditioning. So what that can look like to continue where I was on the runner's knee, once the membership was purchased, they go and they'd start seeing some principles of rehabilitation, things to start practicing from home. 
and then be able to bring that into the conditioning process, give some more information on that, different things broken down. And then Eric's designed programs for recovery with instructions about how long, how often, rating based on pain scale, lots of very specific information that people can work through bit by bit, instructions with videos, and also text instruction, reminding them of the purpose, things to look out for, how much, et cetera. It's all designed with a kind of linear progression, but what he would do with a a client if he's working in person with them, this is very streamlined because it's saving the time to go to the office, the higher cost of going and seeing a professional, and then hopefully work through these stages in the weeks that it takes. So each stage will have a similar layout of instructions, guidelines, videos, reminders, all oriented towards that specific injury. So each injury has its own four-part arc, arc being the assessment, rehabilitation, and conditioning program. There's easy ways to navigate all that for people that come back after, you know, maybe doing session one. We have an index. This is visible by anybody, but if they clicked on something that was member only, it would just give them a flag. For now, we have various injuries in these categories with lots of room to keep growing because we know there's definitely more injuries out there. We're starting with the most common patterns we see, hoping that that's a helpful resource that's, again, easy to use from the you know comfort of home, much cheaper than working with a professional, but then with the option of working with a professional, whether it's Eric as a physical therapist or me as a coach. We also have in the works some kind of exercise archive, basically using a lot of the exercises we use in rehab and conditioning for preventative, like you're not injured, but you identify maybe some knee issues or weaknesses or things like that. Here's some exercises to hone in on. So just trying to make everything consolidated, easy to follow, and with easy access to a real human being to get more information.